Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Emmanuel Olega. Welcome to my channel, Create Beautiful Things. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to use AutoPyte EXE to convert a Python file into an EXE file. I'll show this to you in few understandable steps as you shall see. So if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to join the community by subscribing and then make sure to hit that notification bell so that you get updated every single time I upload a new video. So without wasting time, let's learn how to convert a Python file into an EXE. All right, so here I have a project I've worked on. Let me run it. Now this is the project I actually want to convert into an EXE file. As you can see, it's a project I've worked on. It's an edge calculator. I can type in any edge. I mean, okay, let's type in a year, then I can type in the month. For example, this is when I was born, 13th August 1995. And then it will actually calculate for me the age just based on clicking on the button calculate age. So let's actually see how to convert this to an exe file. So I'm going to open our Anaconda prompt. And inside here, it's where we're going to install autopy to exe. So pip install auto dash pi to exe so this is what we shall use to convert this python project into an exe file so i've forwarded this a little bit so that actually the installation happens faster then once it's done we shall actually be able to open autopy to exe so now just type in here auto let's just type in auto dash pi dash two dash E X E and click enter and now it should open the software that we've installed so here it is now you can actually pull this to the side and now here let's actually check it out so it's still initializing now inside here remember our project was actually saved on the desktop and this is where we're actually going to drag it from so we're going to browse click browse then we're going to look for the main file. Look for the file called main.py, the file that actually allows us to execute the app. That's going to be the main file that we should actually look out for at the very top here. Then now next, we can choose whether we want it as one directory or one file, but I prefer one directory, so that will actually do the job. Then now we can choose whether we want it to be console-based or none. I don't want it to have a console. Then now here we need to set an icon for our software. Right, so this is the logo there, and but I need to convert that PNG file into an ICO file. So I'm going to use this website here. So I'm going to choose that file. So it's logo.png, then select it, and then open. And then we're going to just simply convert. So when we convert, it should actually be converted into an ICO file. So it's now going to be in my download. So let's go there. And then let's check our download. So it's actually been renamed to favicon. And then this is the file. So now let's check its properties. Then when I do, I can see that it's an ICO file. So that means it has actually worked. So we're going to cut this and place it on our desktop so that it's actually easy to actually locate. Of course, you can still locate it in downloads, but let's actually just put it on the desktop. So right here, I'm now going to browse and select that ICO file so go to your desktop actually to my desktop select it and click open all right so now this page here is where we add different additional files or additional folders if we actually want them to be part of the final project so now let's select uh, different files you know what let's include these two files here this and that it may actually work even without uh, adding them but let's just add them to be part of our final project now here is where we add some advanced settings we may not need to use this where we have hidden imports and different things like that we may not need to use it for now and in most cases so we can actually ignore that so let's go to settings so in settings there is where we choose where our software shall be located so we're going to choose the output folder so i'm going to create a new folder i've chosen to call it software and then I'm going to locate this folder. So that's where I actually want my output after the executable file has actually been created. And then after that, we can just click on. All right, so let's drag this. Now we can click convert pi to exe. All right, so I have an error. It says the pathly package is an obsolete, something like that. All right, let's close this. Let's correct that error. 
so I think I know what to do. I just need to remove that path lib. Let's actually go back to the command prompt. All right, so let's actually correct that error. So we're going to type in, all right, so it's a simple error, it's common. You may not have experienced the error, but if you do, just follow these steps because otherwise it would have, it would have started converting. So just type in conda, all right, just, just a second, type in conda, remove, remove path lib then click enter all right so when you click enter we'll actually just allow it to follow through the process all right so now it's going to remove some files i'm speeding up the video so that we actually happens faster all right all right, so now in the next step, you're actually just told to proceed. So to actually install some packages and remove some, so just click Y and then click Enter. And it should actually work. So that happens very quickly. Then when that is done, we can now, okay, so now it's done. We can now open auto pi to exe one more time. Let's open it one more time. Click Enter. All right, so now it's going to load again. And we're going to repeat the exact same process that we've done before. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're now going to first locate the main file, open it. Then we shall choose this to be a directory, Windows, yeah, no console. Then now we can select the logo again, favicon, click open. And then, all right, so now that's it. Now we're going to go to additional files. Let's add those two additional files again edge calculator and UI index and then we can go back to the advanced settings actually we no, have nothing to add there let's go to settings select our output directory one more time the folder called software select it then this time it should work properly without any error so convert pi to exe and then let's wait until it's done it's going to take some time maybe 20 minutes but once it's done, we can now open the output folder. So just click open output folder here. And then here's the folder. We have it here, type inside main. Now, this is the executable file that we actually wanted. So let's close these, we no longer need them. Then let's uh, click on this main and then allow it to open. So it may take a couple of seconds all right, and then now we have our file as an executable file. Now let's test and see if it actually works. Let's type in a uh, 1998, let's say 20th of June. June is a six months convert, and we can see that it is actually working as we wanted. So that's how we actually create an executable file from a Python file. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope the video really, really helped you. If it did, feel free to share it with anyone that you can. And then if you're new to this channel, I can join the community by subscribing and then make sure to hit that, that notification bell so that you get updated every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.